All right, back again, video number two of my jaffles, and I forgot I was going to do it on the first one, uh, but <laughs> look, it's two, four, six. There's the two, four, six. This is jaffle number eight, seven and eight. Okay, I've been at this for an hour. <laughs> and that's what they look like. Beautiful, beautiful. Just double check that they were cooked all the way through. Don't no, still got a little bit more. See, still, still bubbling. Not long now though. Beautiful. That's what butter does for you. Nice golden brown finish. Does the same with cakes when you put it in the oven. It's fantastic. Okay, but remember, you guys, this is all about, what well, good food, but we need to re-educate ourselves on what good food is. Uh, mum and dad, uh, my mum and dad, were uh, both from Germany. They met here in Brisbane. Uh, both different uh, educations. And uh, yeah, the stuff I still have to learn that they already knew. I wish I had another two or three lives to go through it. Because there's no way I'm going to learn everything they do. It's just, it's, there's so much to learn. They, they were dynamic. But cooking, my father was a German pastry chef. And he taught mum quite a bit, but mum already knew quite a bit. And uh, yeah, the foods they could make. And the amount of sugar I used to eat. Oh man, I still eat a lot of sugar today, but nothing like I did then. All the German cake. German cakes. You ever had buttercream cake? A real buttercream cake? Not the uh, stuff they make here in Australia. That's not <laughs> most of the buttercream cakes I've tasted from Australian chefs. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's uh, yeah, very boring. Very plain, very, very hard. My father's buttercream cake that was beautiful and smooth. You just wanted to eat and eat and eat and eat. <laughs> Which we did. Went through three three cakes in a weekend. The family, there was only five of us. And man, talk about cake. Apples, apple, apple cake. You ever had an apple cake where the apples are two inches high? Then you've got the cake, the pa the pastry and the the top. So you got two inches of solid apple through a cake bigger than this plate. Yeah, it's big. Much bigger, big, big, a lot of apple. Today, trying to find, I actually found a cake shop the other day that actually has, still uses real apple when they're cooking to make cakes, apple turnovers. You actually use real, real apple. There's only, there's only one cake shop I've found, one left that I've found here in Brisbane. All the rest are using that diced up apple, which half of it's choco. And you can tell which is which because apple goes yellow when it's cooked, choco stays white. And they can try and tell you, oh, but it's, we buy it, it's all apple. I'm like hell. It's half choco. Apple, apple does not stay white when you cook it. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. There we go. All right. We'll pull this over to the side here. Oh, look at that. Too much butter under there. I'll have to clean that up in a little while. Get them out of there. Beautiful. Beautiful. And that's right, we turn that off. We'll clean that up next time. And I slice these up. There we go. Look at that. Gorgeous. Two eggs in each one. You can't do that with a with the one with a slice thing in it. Can't do it. Just doesn't work. Anyway, that's video number two in this one. Hope you enjoyed that. I know I will. I'm about to have that and have my iced coffee as well. I'm going to get my iced coffee out of the fridge. Okay. Catch you again, guys. Catch you real soon. Okay. Oh, uh, please. You know, the, like, the like button, which is just there somewhere, and the subscribe button, if you wouldn't mind, be very much appreciated as I'm trying to get this channel up and running. Okay. That's, that's me for today. Catch you later. Bye.